can't stop anyone on defense? Help me! Help me! Oh my god! Ever wonder how your opponent knows what you're gonna do on offense? That's because there's a very simple formula reading an offense that makes playing defense way easier. So if you want to see how to read an offense like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I will show you guys seven easy tips that will help you read what your opponent is going to do on offense before the play even starts. When it comes to playing defense, you can never really know what your opponent is going to do, and that is because only your opponent can see the play. So the goal in defense is to play the percentages, and the reads I'm going to show you are meant to significantly improve your chance of guessing correctly on any given play. I've also put out a video this year about how to read and beat every defense as well, so if you guys want more help like this on offense, I will have a link in the description for that video as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that before i get into the video as always if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section it really helps out the video and the channel and if you want more help like this or more money plays for your offense or defense you can always check out my ebooks for more as every book comes with a free tips and strategy guide that is meant to help you improve in all facets of the game all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top end comment you can have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download the first tip is probably the easiest and that is formational tells the certain formations are better to run from or others are just better to pass from this this all has to do with where the quarterback is behind the line of scrimmage when the play starts, as the closer they are to the line of scrimmage has a lot more to do with how much time they'll have to pass or get sacked by the pass rush. For example, if the quarterback is directly under center like he is in a single back I form strong or weak formation, any fast blitz off the edge or man zero blitz in general could get to the quarterback before he even drops back to pass. You can still pass from these formations, but if your opponent spends most of their time in these formations, they're most likely a run heavy player that will only pass when they need to. If they come out in a formation where the quarterback is far away from under center like gun formations or pistol formations they are most likely to pass due to the fact that the quarterback starts far enough away that the pressure is a less than immediate issue giving them more time for the receivers to get open the personnel of these formations are a dead giveaway too as most players that like to pass a lot want to spread the field out with speed for more explosive passing plays so any formation with three or more receivers is obviously ideal for passing while formations with multiple tight ends or even a fullback are much more useful when it comes to blocking and run plays luckily you don't have to get Guess what formation your opponent is going to be in like you did in Madden say 10 years ago as now all you have to do is wait for your opponent to pick a play first because after they do you will see a pop up in the top right corner that tells you exactly what offensive formation they're in as well as the player personnel included in that package. This is a huge advantage so make sure that you do this every single play. You also don't get a lot of options when it comes to running from shotgun formation as the best run play is usually the inside zone while under center formations have everything from inside zones to stretch runs and runs with pulling linemen that most most gun formations don't have. So this is another tell that makes it much harder to run out of shotgun formations. Since the running back starts to play next to the quarterback, he has to go towards the quarterback for the handoff. So as a defender, you know you usually only have to defend in that direction unless you see your opponent use a counter run, which is pretty rare. Under center formations can be much harder to predict the direction, but most people usually run to the strong side, which is the side that has the most tight ends. Which brings me to my next tip, and that is where the receivers are on the field at the start of the play as this has a direct connection to where the ball is going to go after the play starts. Just like players run towards the most tight ends, passing players usually pass towards the most receivers as it gives them the most options. So before every play, do a simple count of where the receivers are and start to play where the action is. It's simple math. If there's three receivers on one side of the field and only one on the other side, you have a 75% chance that the play is going to be run in that direction. Now you also have to include the running back in this formula, but only sometimes since running backs are used in pass protection a lot and also rarely run patterns deep down the field. So so the running back probably has to do more with my next tip and that is the down and distance of the play as this is another tip that comes from information that is always available to you to give you some idea of where your opponent is going to go for example if it's fourth and goal you know he has to score if it's third and long you know that they are probably going to pass so all of your adjustments should reflect these facts this is why the running back is not always a player you should count as he is a much more viable option on a third and short than he is on a third and long as they probably won't even get open deep fast enough to be effective. Your goal as a defender is to get your opponent into these predictable situations. A first and 10 can be anything but a fourth and 20 has to be a pass play deep making it much easier to know where your opponent is going to go with the ball. Even fourth and inches can be an easy stop if they come out in a three tight end set. As you know at this point they are most likely going to try and run to pick up the first down due to personal 
personnel tell that I went over earlier. So at this point, you can just match and run commit and most likely get the stop. Another tell is quarterback movement. On pass plays, quarterbacks are much more active than on run plays. On run plays, your opponent's quarterback might move once or twice, as the only adjustment they need to make is usually either changing a play or maybe flipping the run to the other side. But when they pass, they will usually have to change the play, hot route half of their receivers, and also make block adjustments. So if your opponent looks like Peyton Manning back there, he is most likely setting up a pass play, and it takes way more adjustments to set those up. Clock and situation are another tell similar to down and distance as it's also always available for you to see and it also makes your opponent more predictable. For example, if you're up two scores in the fourth quarter, it's a pretty safe bet that your opponent is going to pass instead of run clock on themselves. And if you're down two scores in the fourth quarter, it's a pretty safe bet that they're going to run the ball to try to kill clock. I would say these situations apply any time a player is up or down more than one score. The next tell is similar to where the receivers are on the field and that is to locate which side of the field the ball is on. The sideline otherwise known known as the 12th defender is the best defender in the history of the league as he never misses a tackle and plays lights out pass defense all game long which is why most offensive players would rather run their offense to the open side of the field rather than test the sideline as it gives them more room to work so if your opponent is on a hash mark and all their receivers are on the open side of the field it's a pretty safe bet that they're going to work on the larger half it's simple math once again as 60 percent of the field is on that side so 75 percent of the receivers are over there too all signs point to the play going there as well meanwhile if your opponent starts with all the receivers on the short side of the field this is a sign that the receivers are most likely going to cross the field towards open space this includes run plays as well as most outside runs turn to a race to the edge as this is where most space is found so always be aware of where your opponent is between the hash marks at the start of the play the last tell is based on the result of the last play as players will always look to repeat success until you stop it if your opponent is doing something from a certain look or formation and it is working they will continue to do that but if you stop it they will look to try to switch to something else so if your opponent tries to pick up a third and two on the ground and you stuff it short or stop them for a one yard loss the chances are they're going to try to pass on the next play the failure is too fresh in their minds and they will most likely switch to a pass play to try to pick up the first down so that's that's the vid if you guys enjoyed the content please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more tip videos like this on how to read a defense i will have them popping up on screen other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below